Hi, I want to show you how you can make your character be able to bounce off the walls. As you can see, when our character is jumping into the wall, he gets bounced a little bit after reaching it. This is a very cool mechanic to improve your platformer. So let's take a look at the code. Here in the physics process, we've got the if statement, when player squats to charge the jump, he gets forced to a certain direction based on the key that player is holding at the moment. So our jump is determined by the charge and player has almost zero control over it after releasing the buttons and in your game it could be anything else because the logic to bounce is here also in the physics process and here are the certain conditions if is jumping which is a boolean that lets me know when our player did truly jump and here in this else is a normal logic to make our character run but in the save above we check the velocity that x equals zero so if our player jumped but in the middle of the jump his velocity that x turned to zero which means that he was blocked by something for example or maybe in our case the wall then i check the last direction and his last direction gives us the information which side we should make him bounce so after the check we just give five and negative five which is exactly the half of the power and you can change it to almost anything so if you would like to make our bounce twice as hard as the initial jump then we simply change it to 20 and let's see what happens now you can see that the bounce is very strong and to be precise it's two times as strong as the normal jump you can even see that our character is able to bounce of a second wall which is cool but in my case five is a better number after changing the last direction we'll use it in the velocity that x because here is where the magic happens our last direction times move speed times delta delta is the standard here because we are dealing with physics process and last direction that is changed after touching the wall that gives us the velocity that x the number with negative or positive value so yeah that's all there is to it i hope that i was able to help you thank you for your time and bye